Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the left hand side of the screen, you see a question, and we are told to draw that given figure in isometric projection. So we are reproducing it. So when you hear the word isometric projection, the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your isometric axis, like you draw your vertical line this way. And you draw your horizontal line this way. And you draw your inclined axis also this way. Can you see that? So the entire length here will be this 40 you see plus the radius of this circle which is 20 because diameter is 40 plus the other radius here which is 20 and we'll be having what 80 so i'm going to measure 80 on this axis here so let's do that and measure our 80 so 0 to 8 is 80 then the width here is given to be 40 as you can see from 0 to what 40 and the height also is given to be what also 40 also so i'm going to measure my height to be what 40 from 0 to 40. so doing that i'm going to use it to form a box this and this can see that then after you've done that you close it up from the height here you push it this way you come here also you push it this way come here too you push it this way and you close it up so we brought out this box now the next thing is for us to start drawing our what our circular figure so i'll start from this side here now if you look at that 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 um, shape very well we have three different circles the external circle one two three right so what i'll simply do is i'll construct three different circles one of it is 10 millimeter high and the remaining one is here so what you should just do is take your instrument this way this is here. Can you see that? You mark. Right? And you just bring out that box that we have there. So if I should do that. This is what we have. Just to bring out that box. Then I will now measure a height of what 10 here, as you can see from the diagram from 0 to 10. Then I will use it to form a box. Can you see that? We have different box that we have here. Three box. You can see this, this, and this. So what you do is let's focus on this. Now let's say this is one, two, three, and four. So I will join the diagonals from here to here. Right? And also join from here to here so where this and this meet represent the center of that figure there so i'll just draw a line across this point you know do the same thing across this point can you see that so if i should join from four to this point here 
and also join from 4 to the other point here this is what we have here right so these are the most important parts here to here so let me draw out the circle so when i come here i'll place it here and i'll connect to the other side here so you can see that Now come to the other end too. I'll do the same thing too. Right? Then I'll come here. I'll do the same thing here too. Then I'll come to this point too. I'll do the same thing too. Hope you can see that now I also join this diagonal here too just like I did the other one there then I'll bring this down from this point to have this point and I'll bring it down from this point to have this point right so if I should place it here I'll connect this to this. Can you see that? And if I should place it here, I'll connect this to this. But I'm going to stop here. That I can easily bring this down from here to this point. Hope you can see that. Then I'll place it here also. I'll connect this to this point. And I'll bring it down. Can you see that? Now that is not the end. I'll do the same thing to connect the diagonal too, from here to here. Then I'll transfer the point downward. And also this point downward. And I'll do the same thing too. Now for this, the down one, I use this, now I'll use this for the down one. So I'll connect here to here. Can you see that? And I'll place it here to here. So I'll just stop here. And I'll come here too. I'll just do this. I don't really need that. So what you do is this part here you're touching here straight ahead. So you should take it up. Hope you can see that right then we we'll move forward you can easily bring this down but we'll come in there i'll just extend this this line to touch here sorry and also extend this line to touch here and I'll close it up. So I'll do the same thing what I did here. I'll do it here. So if I should come here with the distance of from here to here, I'll mark here. Right? And it's already there. This is what we have here. So I'll join the diagonals. So I'll draw a line like this, which is what you can see. It's from in a box. So I'm not doing diagonals. Right? So where they are meeting. Or 
draw a line like this. So connect um, a line like this also. So if I should connect from here to this point here and from here to this point here. This is where they are meeting. Can you see that? So when I place it here at this end, I'll join from here to here. And when I place it from this end to this end here, I'll join from here to here. Right, so I can easily just close it up. Mm -hmm. I can easily just close it up too. So what we'll be taking will be this part here. This is what we're having. And you do for it down too. Just bring it down from here. We already have it there. And you draw a line from here, you're already there, see so the line, and you close your up tool. You don't change the lovers diagonals from here to here. And you transfer your point down on that line. So when you place it here, You come here too. You stop here, and you bring that down. Right, and you put this down. Can you see that? So this also will be thickened. We'll thicken down shortly. So there's another uh circle in between, and the circle has a radius of what of 20. So you just take it has a diameter of 20, so you just take radius of 10. Which this is 0 to 10. And you place it here. You mark 10, 10. 10 and 10 to use it to form the line this line this line this and this this is use the same measurement I used here and also here too because you have, you have the same measurement you mark 10, 10, 10, and 10. So you use the corner box. All right. So in here, we'll now draw in our circle. So when I come here, I'll place this and I'll have this. Sorry. Then I'll come here. I'll have this. Now I'll come here. Still remaining one of it, which is this. Connect from here to touch here and connect from here to touch here. And here also from here. 
can you see that now there's another one in here so what you simply do in order to get what you want is that you will um let's do this one first we'll come back to you if i place it here to this point i get another one you come to this point i get another one and if i come I need to draw the line from this point to touch here where the intersect will be a point and from this point to touch here where the intersect will be what another point so from that point i'll have this and from this point i'll have this right so aside from that I'm going to bring this down by what? By 10 millimeter. So from this point, measure 10 millimeter down. That means take this measurement from here to here and transform it from here down. So it's limit in here. Can you see that? So since we used from here to get this point, then we're going to use from here to get the next one. we can see that so now i will not taking out this so this is what we have here we have drawn it in isometric projection the view the figure that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen so if you have found it helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching